right, hey, what you're about to watch here is uh, Sabo showing up at the shop with Dave, and Dave made the traps. They're super cool. I hope you dig it. This way, and then the spring goes on the end, just like a regular bear trap. Yeah, it, it's like, well, um, so that's one. And two, in theory, the, the trap, the spring would be doing it so hard that it would be doing tension for this. Well, this, that goes up, and that puts tension on here. But see, it's, 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 it's supposed to basically, it, it should basically do it like that. But that's yeah. just so heavy. Yeah. It's like, um, wow. So let me see. Oh, okay. For display, I would I would lift that up to match this. Do you have that extra piece? Yeah, I have this one inside the dam. Okay, so let me see that one there, this one here. Yeah. I would have to think, visually speaking, an idiot could look at it and see what it is. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like, holy fuck. And it's like, well, you, if you stand it up. What yeah. I really, really like about this is the fact that the teeth interlock with each other. Yeah. Like that. And believe me, it's like uh, I, I did two versions, one with styrofoam and one with wood. Yeah. And uh, because the one, let me see, let me look at this up here. See, it's um, visually when you took a picture of it, uh, when you took a picture of it and you see it in this angle right here, it looks like the heart is higher up than down. Mm -hmm. And uh, and I started thinking like in a really nitpicky way, it's like, hmm, what if we reverse the teeth that would drop this down a little, which it broke. And I'm like, dude, you're over what I, this. What I did is I took the heart and put it in the middle. Yeah. And then I did what's called an offset in the CAD program. And it offset it out, so it made it exactly centered. And, and well, the thing was, it, it's somewhat of an optical thing, I yeah. think. Yeah. Because when I look up here, it looks pretty balanced for that. Right. So, so I'm like, dude, you're overthinking this. It's perfect. And yeah. do you have a uh, name for this piece? Um, uh, I was joking around and called it my wife's name, but it's like I, I thought of this long before That's I got right. long before I got married. Uh, see, I mean, no amount of pressure keeps that from. Uh, no, but if you, if you, you know, usually in a bear trap, there's some tweaks and, and stuff like that. So yeah. that little piece on the back can be tweaked up. Yeah, and you know, you could easily glue, like I said, a little piece of styrofoam block or something behind this heart to keep it there, so it won't. Push yeah, in. no, no, I'm just, I'm just talking here. like. In like uh, real world, whatever. Yeah. But I mean, if I were to have a name for it, um, honestly, I, um, I don't know. Love hurts. That's what love I was thinking. Hurt. Yeah, love hurts. Love can hurt. Love's dangerous. I, I, I was thinking in terms of like sneak up on love. Don't carefully. step on my heart. Uh, yeah. Like the dangers <laughs> of stepping on someone's heart. Exactly. And um, and um, I, uh, I think I was telling him yet. Uh, forgive me. Yeah. Uh, right now I'm a little like frazzled because. My wife's from England. She's like Dutch, uh, Dutch and English, and um, for some works, but but it's like so. Basically, when you see this, you go, "Oh, that's that's Sabo." And, and um, so that being said, taking some of the responsibility off of your hands, I would hope that I could just call these people up and say, "You know, can you make four of these, and I'll pay them." And then it comes to me to have someone, you know. Stitching together, right? That'll learn a, a, a welder local to you. Yeah, that. Well, are, you know, when this whole thing happened, you and I were having a conversation on the phone, phone. Us, and I was saying you could do it in steel because he told me he had done the PDF file. I said, dude, he had all those parts sent to you, and you could pack it together. You could weld it, but that and then he's like, well, I need space on the welder. I said, well, I know a guy. <laughs> no, well, you. <laughs> so that's how the whole thing see, happened. You see the because you could tack these together it, yourself. I got a neighbor that that's that's uh, that. He said, oh, I, I got CAD and blah, blah, blah. Uh, I, I must have run into at least three. Uh, I can't believe I almost got myself. I just grabbed this thing. Yeah, oh, yeah. Sure. yeah, 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 yeah. Right. But, uh, um, which would be it, good for you, man. You can do it yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, left it, I left it raw like that <laughs> in case you wanted to keep it raw. Otherwise, you can sharpen the herbs. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, my, my idiot ass was thinking, is there any way I can like, make them a sharp? I'm like, that's probably not the best idea. Oh, shit. Sure. So you could get on these with a grinder. Yeah, yeah all right. And you could sharpen every one. Yeah. Like, right, right, the sharp eyes, but you know what I'm saying. You could, yeah, you could angle these and yeah. make these razor sharp. But all you need is a good file. Yeah. And yeah. then you'll just knock those. Yeah, it'll probably take Metal 25 years. There is a little tiny spot on each tooth and on each part where there's like a little, it's like the beginning yeah, like yeah. and the end of the cut is. So oh. Yeah. I left those. It's fine.
this thing? No, no, there was a lot of thought that went into why this looks the way that it looks because, I mean, fortunately, it turned out good looking, I, I think. I think it turned out really good looking. But the thing is, it's functional, one. And two, uh, it, it's like, uh, I made it so simplistic. I wanted to make as few bends or wells as possible. And I can't tell you how much time I spent in a computer looking at like a hundred different ways that traps were made and how they work and why this was, because even you asked, why is this here? Mm -hmm. and, and it's like, uh, so all that was put into the equation and uh, boom, this came out with, with, with well, you, and you got to work with Dave now, so you know, no matter how simply you try to make it, he's going to take it, 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 it way, worse. way more freaking complicated. <laughs> and, and, and like, yeah, so there was a, but, but the end so, result's always worse. So, so I guess that, it, it, I, I wrote this one poem once, uh, one poem once, and, and I remember sitting at this place, and just for days, just sitting there crafting all the words, and felt like I was smoothing a piece of wood, and, and uh, I mean, and it turned out, I, I believe that it turned out really well. It basically describes my the first night we were sitting on the porch in a pasture in Louisiana. And we had a single wide trailer. And, you know, it was what I just saw that night. And, and it turned out really well. And I guess what I'm trying to say is I put the same love into that poem that I put into this. And that's the same amount of love I'm going to put into the box. And then what you were just talking about with people were giving you grief. Why are you making this? Because it's not political. Yeah, but then I say, you know, how many wars were started because of love? You know, it's like uh, love is, you know, love isn't love is as political as anything else, man. And, and um, I just like that it's not overtly political because everything you do is political. Yeah, and this helps you walk into the world of art, like people are like, oh wait a second, he's actually a real artist. He's not just political. That's yeah. what I like about. Well, it. you know, for me the challenge is the challenge is it's like I can look at this and someone can say, oh, that's a really awful, aggressive interpretation of love this is like it's a fucking trap man. yeah this is the, <laughs> this is the pain yeah i mean this 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 kind of illustrates the painful part of what love people can are going to want these as a fixture for weddings you know like yeah. hanging up there <laughs> uh, but the, but so it's kind of begs the question if this is the harsh reality of, of of some what love can be now i've got to think of the good one it's like if i was to make like the, the diametrically opposed opinion of love what would it look like and, and uh so now i'm kind of racking my head well now you, now you got some thinking to do yeah and you say that and I, I wasn't planning on painting it but for some reason as you were saying that i thought black if it's just black it looks awesome and that's what they all you know real traps were and by the way dave what do you think on this size wise i don't think there's a bear trap that's this big yeah i believe there is yeah 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 they're, they're probably it's pretty free. yeah bears, bears are, are pretty big bigs are bears are pretty big and but you know what, though? We should put this out on the street in West Hollywood. Maybe we can capture a bear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what was it? I, I wanted to do that. Well, you, you know, if we I don't could. know if a lot of people know what a bear is. <laughs> oh, they know. They know. It, uh, okay, let, let me look at this here. Uh, okay, I'm going to look. Uh, we're going to boom, like this, close, okay, close one up, carry it. Oh, I don't know okay, it okay what, what I'm thinking is, is we'll go to the, the snake pit. Yeah, why not? We'll go to the snake I've only pit. been having one drink a week, but I'll, I'll go to the snake pit up here. I, I, I'm just or thinking, if, what, if, what if we just put this on the sidewalk and take some pictures, <laughs> put it on the sidewalk, and see what some reactions are? But it's so damn heavy, I'm not even sure if it's possible. But, uh, or like, it's like if you go to a bar and you go to order a beer and you just set one in front of you and you sit in there oh, drinking your beer, you know and someone takes a picture like that. You're saying that now. If we can get that other one welded up soon, I'll take it with me on the road with Corinne, and we'll do a bunch of goofy pictures of this out in the desert. I'll, 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 sorry, I should have mentioned yeah. the name, but I'll have her naked in this thing, like, you know, yeah. <laughs> uh, like, like pulling away, like you know, pulling somebody out of it. You know, it could be fun, man. That's a great prop for. Fun I think out. having a, um, a picture of this with you with this, the Hollywood sign in the background would be kind of cool. Yeah, I mean that would be cool. Uh, what, what am I thinking here? Um, these look so awesome the way they are. I can't even picture them painted. Yeah, that, I wasn't going to paint mine either. Um, you know, we could take some pictures of them. And, uh, well, you're pretty good at Photoshop, right? Yeah. You could Photoshop the colors on them. Yeah, no, you know, uh, and, um, yeah, I, I mean, yeah, I mean, I could do that. It, it, it's a, I'm thinking that it takes away 
from just the sheer brutality of how it looks. That's one of the reasons I thought rust, you know. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking and, uh, that as you're saying, the rust is yeah, a good idea too. And, and it's like, it just kind of, and if I were to powder coat some. Do you want to see what it looks like rusted? Do I have Miriak and Adam? No, no, you don't want to do that. No, I don't. Do that with yours. Not, not, on the, uh, not on the fly. But it's like, so I'm thinking. Well, you can rust that piece. Well, so, how should I say, would I paint them? See, the, it's funny, I, I showed this girl, there's this one store called Maxfields. It's like a really high-end one over in West, Westwood. And um, I showed it to her, and she said, oh, is, is this how the finish is going to look? And, uh, and I can appreciate the question, and I, and I did when she brought it up, because that was my thought as well, until I saw them. Now, now, I, now I see them, and I'm like, they look just fine. They look cool. They look just fine the way that they are. And if anything, I, I think powder coating them might kind of take away from it. Don't trip and fall on it. I need to, uh... Hey, Sabo. What's up? Act like the big deal that you are. I try. But, uh... You know what's cooler than you two guys? Uh, that van and that yeah. van. They look like brothers. I swear. Yeah. Hey. Yes, thank you. Oh, you got this? Oh, that's cool. See you guys later. All right, all right, all right, all right. What you just watched, <laughs> we just left the bar. So the preamble and the ending has the same awesome lighting, huh? Hope you guys enjoyed that. I haven't seen Sabo in a while. He's just here for a short time, and uh, he's heading back. So hopefully he'll get some art up. And uh, what you guys saw there, I mean, those traps are kind of cool, man. I think they're going to be a thing. You'll see them around at some point, and that's it. So I hope you enjoyed it. Come back again. Remember to be good to one another. Uh, bye.
Oop, I'm turning off the wrong thing.